Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. We're going to be doing another sanctuary vlog today, and uh, thankfully, I'm feeling a lot better. Still a little under the weather, still a little bit sick, but feeling a lot better than I was yesterday. So, right now, we're coming over to feed the, uh, the goats and the pigs. They're so talkative. Hi, guys. Hi, Petunia. Hi, Petunia. You got food in your hair. You got some pellets in your mohawk. So then I throw the food down. They'll like rush over to try to get it and then put their head like, like the food's falling here and they put their head underneath it and then just get it all over them. So have a little time. You got food in your hair. So I threw some food down right here just to keep Petunia uh, off of my legs while I'm trying to feed the goats over here. Because uh, Petunia will come up and, you know, we talk about it all the time, but it can be kind of aggressive. Um usually not like straight up just charging for no reason although that does happen but it's usually a petunia is like already on edge and it's kind of like creeping around behind me and then if i go to step backwards or whatever and i don't know petunia's there and i bump into him then he's gonna try to get you oh julie oh hello oh big pigs in town yeah you got kicked out There's a big pig. Oh, hi, Daisy. You come over and being friendly, too. Hi, Daisy. Daisy just wants food. Daisy's like, I don't care. Just give me food, don't pet me. Petunia likes pets. Oh, well, it's raining a bit now though. Kind of a overcast, light rain day. What? You got a lot to say, huh? Yeah. There's nothing in the bucket, guys. It's empty. So now we got the big pigs lined up and eating. Ghosts are trying to scavenge where they can. Ghosts got your own food, you know. You got your own food, Nilla. There you go. Go get your own food. So we just gave Rick her meds and she's looking great. Yeah, being a good girl. Yeah. She's very cooperative, thankfully. Good girl, Rick. She's looking much, much better. You yeah. oh, do you want that? Do you want that? Oh, maybe? Yeah? <laughs> she's kind of scared. Nope. Yeah, it's gone. Jumanji's deciding whether or not he wants to come out. It's kind of rainy, kind of cold, so. He does this in the morning. He'll pop his head out and look around and be like, eh, I might go back to bed. But he's looking around trying to figure out if he wants to come out. Look at this big handsome toucan. Morning, jelly bean. Hi, big guy. Hi. I'm just getting your bowl. No blueberries yet. He's eyeing me. No stabbing. Hi, guys. We got Bluebird, the blue headed pionis, and then Rocky's, a Senegal parrot. Can I pet you, Blue? You know, let me pet you. Oh, sometimes Blue just wants to bite, but right now Blue wants to be pet. There you go, Blue Bird. Hi, Cupie. Hi, Cupie boy. Hi, baby. Oh, oh, look at this handsome bird. Look at this handsome bird. So Cupid is a Goffin's cockatoo. Look at him. Look at his little thing. You're so funny, Cupie. And then I've got Chloe sitting here cuddling. Oh my goodness, Chloe. Chloe, you 
Hi, Chad. Just get in your bowl, bro. And get you some food. Always excited to see Clover. Clover! Go say hi to Chad. Look at him. He starts wagging his tail. Oh, look at Vasami climbing up in my lap. She's so cuddly. You're so cuddly. You're so cute. You guys believe she's given up for biting too much? Look at her. Oh, there it is. There it is. So vicious. So vicious. She's burying her head. She's so cute, though. Oh, look at her. Good girl. Oh, look at that big yawn. Some pretty teeth. She's so cuddly, though. That's all she wants to do. Just sit here and cuddle. And sniff everything. Just washed and cleaned all the bowls, so now we're ready for food prep. There you go, Asami. So Asami's got some corn, green beans, cantaloupe, omnivore diet, and peppers. Oh, what are you gonna get? And the pepper. Always her favorite. <laughs> She's gonna go back in her log with it. That's so cute. Her tail sticking out. Hi, Jet. There you go. Got some food for you, buddy. But there's no rabbit in there right now, so let's see what he does. Oh, he is very displeased. He is quite offended. There's no rabbit in there. Look at his face. His life is a lie. It's okay. We'll get you some rabbit later. But right now, you're going to have to suffer and make do with what you got. You guys being crazy. Listen to that. Hey! Knock it off. That's why you're being separated. Bad girl, Hazel. All right, got Hazel down there. You and Kira up here. You guys are being crazy today. You got, you got two bulls, you know. There we go. You troublemaker. Those crazy eyes, yeah. Like a feral beast. All right, so we got the quaddies in here eating in their lockouts, chomping away. So now that they're locked out and eating, I'm gonna go ahead and go clean. So now we're gonna go ahead and take some marshmallows and put them in here for some enrichment later. These things are so sticky. Big one in this. Come on, get off of me. Put them in here. Put some in the rope over here for them to find. Nice little 
hidey hole in this log. Oh, she knows there's something there. Did you find it? Can you look in? Oh. There you go. Good girl. What a smart girl. What a smart baby. No jumping. No jumping. No, 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 no. Oh, that one's too easy, huh? I got some blueberries for Jelly Bean. Nice being happy and friendly. Uncle Boy Bean, Uncle Boy Bean. Got your jelly beans, or you are jelly bean. Got your blueberries. Oh, it's windy, huh? Very windy today. There you go, Bluebird. We got some food for you. We got some food for you, Bluebird. So in here feeding the uh, budgies and cockatiels. Hi guys. I love having these guys in here. They are so happy. I just cannot wait until we can take these tarps off. All right, so I'm inside the prairie dog enclosure right now and we're putting down the rocks. So we got a lot of the big rocks that we've been doing for a couple of days. We've had to really spread it out because we've been waiting for the concrete leftovers from the ponds to actually harden up and then we can break them up and then we can put them in here. So it's been a bit of a waiting game on that. Uh, so we have this spread out pretty well and now we're gonna spread out the drainage rock. And if you haven't seen or heard me talk about this previously, um, this is where the prairie dogs go. Right now they're all inside the house. Every day people ask, you know, where are they? They're just inside the house. But right now we're trying to fix up their enclosure so that it will drain properly. There are holes in the bottom. So this is a cattle trough in the ground. So it's completely metal. And then the metal attaches to the wire all the way up. So it is escape proof. Uh, this was originally designed so they could dig down deep. And then we found out that apparently is a bad thing uh, because of the Florida soil and how wet it is here. Even though where they come from in the wild, they dig uh, pretty deep in here. It's bad apparently because uh, the soil doesn't drain enough. Even though we have drainage holes, the water does drain out, but it retains moisture. And then that gets kind of fungusy. So like when I had to dig this thing out to find them, uh, you got to the bottom, like, and there's not like standing water, but it's just like kind of slushy, kind of muddy. So we're going to try to do all this rock drainage here. Let's scan it. That one was barely hanging on. <laughs> All right, so we've been doing some pig painting. <laughs> this is how it's going. Good girl. <laughs> Good girl, Tootie. Oh my goodness, what do they do to you, Petunia? Everyone's gonna ask, it is child safe paint. No, we're using lead paint, guys. <laughs> uh, we were in an animal sanctuary, so we specifically bought lead-based paint for this. <laughs> 
There you go. Oh, you're an artist, Petunia. You're an artist. Look at you. Yeah. Petunia. <laughs> Alright, so we've been trying to do some pig painting here. Um, Petunia looks amazing. This is Julie's nose, but that didn't really come out very well. And Petunia's definitely been the uh, best participant for the paint project, <laughs> as you can probably tell by the nose. Are you a good painter, Petunia? Or are you a good painter? Here, can you sit? Can you sit? So, Petunia, oh, it's in your nose. Look at this. Julie! Julie! We gotta teach you how to sit, girl. And you are very, very bitey with the. Petunia, I see you. You're trying to climb my leg. There you go. Julie! Come here! Julie! Julie! Come here! Oh, yeah. That's easy. Hey! Be nice. Petunia. Hey! No, Petunia. Don't you start. Petunia. Tuni, no. no. Don't don't even think about it. Tuni. Be nice. Are we gonna have a throwdown right now? I don't know. Can you at least take your nice jacket off? Hey, be nice. Hmm? Be nice. Not all the drama that you're starting, Julie. Here, Julie. How does she get it without putting paint? <laughs> she doesn't have a whole lot of paint right oh, now. Okay. Here, dump some more uh, snacks for her. Hey. Hey, there's food on there. Julie, come here. Julie! Come here, girl! Come here, Julie! The foam is a nice touch. Well, somebody over here is going to be crazy. Julie! Come here! All right, so that didn't go very well, but the idea is that we're trying to do some uh, animal paintings with some of the rescue animals and uh, auction them or do a raffle and sell them as a fundraiser for the rescue. So uh, that's what we were trying to do, but didn't exactly go the way that we wanted.